Hey there, this is Django, and this is uh, another Swarm Trooper Saber. This one is for um, Cavjo. It's C A V uh, J O on the FX Sabers forums. Um, he asked me if I had any left, and I said I have a. And he said it was going to be for a museum. So I said, well, I have the number one from the last run. He said, I want it. So here it is. Um, so this is the number one from run two. Um, well, here's a quick spinning around of the saber itself. It's pretty flawless. Uh, for this one, I did a, something a little bit different with the accent LEDs. Um, did you see TK2131 yesterday? Sometimes I think that guy's a copy of a copy of a copy. Okay, so it's uh, red, blue, green, and then white. It'll show up in just a second. Okay. So, but the channels for the uh, the main blade are uh, red, blue, and green. So channel one is red, channel two is blue, and channel three is green. I figured that was a, a neat way to keep it organized so uh, somebody that can go in and tune the rice would know which channels are what. So, uh, that's what I did. This has a crystal focus uh, 7.5 in it uh, with a color extender board from Collector Labs. In my opinion, the best board on the market, and I am also an affiliate. Oops. There we go. Target acquired. What about the turkey? And you have quick on the fly color changing. Shut up, I'm Target acquired. And these have the. Uh, this has the two Stormtrooper fonts for the um, the run um, by Nightstorm also installed. Okay. All of those are adjustable with um, rice. A rice cable. Oops. Okay. Uh, the stand is going to come with it as well. Not the stand. Uh, this one. And it's the same stand as um, all the other white ones. Uh, it's doesn't have the, the um, you have to peel the paper off of it, and then uh, to glue it together, you don't want to use super glue, you want to use an acrylic adhesive. Uh, I use Weld on number three, and that's the one I recommend to actually glue it together. Um, it comes with the rice table and this cable, and this was tested uh, the 18th uh, to make sure it worked with all the functions of the saber, so um, it works perfectly. Uh, extra set of screws. There's a blade retention screw in here that's 832, it's a little set screw. And there's also an uh, extra set of screws for the crystal chamber, which we're going to look at right now. Crystal chamber is accessed by these, removing these four screws. That's why an extra set is included in case you lose one. Um, a while back, I was uh, asked about um, why it didn't have like a hinge or um, a rare earth magnet set up and the reason we did it this way, well I guess I did it this way was since this was the crystal chamber was my idea I wanted on the grip was for one is because this is the grip and you want to have it very secure. Um, you could do like two screws and two rare earth magnets I suppose um, make it look like it but that's just a lot of extra work and for not a whole lot of extra reward. As far as a hinge goes, that's a lot of extra machining and I didn't really uh, plus sourcing the hinges and really just these four screws, It's I was keeping it simple. So Okay, so the blade uh, it runs off the uh, crystal focus board or the, I'm sorry, the crystal here runs off the crystal focus board and it's the five, uh, six, and seven accent LEDs and when you change the color of the blade this matches and when you do flash and flash or walk up
This is a real quartz crystal. Uh, I got a, a few of these in that fit pretty well. Um, it's epoxyed in, so it shouldn't be going anywhere. And uh, it's pretty neat, I think. Uh, I also seen uh, Justin Mars. He did some extra detailing on here. Um, I always like the just a plain white look. There is some um, detailing in there. You know that's shaped with the uh, you know the 3D printing chassis, but I don't know. I just kind of like it plain and white, like the kind of the rest of the saber. But hey, uh, there's not going to be any more of these, so probably not anyway. So maybe somebody will uh, be making detail chassis for them in the future. Okay, the last thing I have to show you is SD card access, and then it's done via the pommel. I'll do that in just a second. Alrighty, uh, SD card access via the pommel. Uh, you simply unscrew it. Um, all the threads on this have been um, lubed up with the uh, uh, lube from the custom saber shop. That's basically for threading. Um, I still turn everything off slow. I just don't want it to get caught and cause an issue. Uh, before accessing, I recommend putting this in here just to be on the safe side and. There is your rice cable right there, the port, let's plug it in right there, and right above it right there is your SD card access. So pop that out um, to change the fonts to whatever you want, and then, you know, put it back in, pull the uh, kill key, and you'll make sure it boots up. For the rice, um, you should be able to change every function on the Sabre. Uh, just with that, if you don't need to change any sound fonts. And for winding up this, uh, this, this ring right here, winds up with a grip, straight this way. It's actually the bottom of the uh, chassis, so you always want this on the top with the crystal focus. And to get this on, we have severe structural damage here. To get this on, just make sure it's lined up, and there's no neither one of these four wires is sticking out. And then just uh, slide this on. If it binds, let's see, it didn't bind that time. That's good. Uh, I always just turn it until I hear the click. There's the click, and now you know you can. Uh, Turn this on. If it binds, slowly back it back out. There might be something in the threads. And you'll have to look through and see if you can find it. Um, worst case scenario, if you get the pommel back off, send it to me and I'll, I'll get it sorted out. As for that, the warranty on this Sabre is uh, for a year uh, upon receipt. Uh, you can send it back for any kind of issues at all you have and I'll fix it. Uh, the only kind of uh, service charges there are for that or if it has to go back to Irv and for a soundboard repair uh, that gets passed on to you um, if it wasn't my fault and uh, the shipping cost well that's it I hope you enjoy the Sabre and uh, we'll be getting it sent out to you shortly thanks for looking everybody later